हे गाइज बीस सेकेंड फ्रॉम गी गाइज यू प्रोबली लाइक कांट इमेजिन हाउ हैप्पी आई एम राइट नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज वन ऑफ द अपग्रेड्स दैट आई वॉज लाइक सो मच सो मच ईगर टू डू इन माई सिस्टम फ्रॉम द डे दैट आई बॉट इट बैक इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन दैट टाइम सैमसंग नाइन फिफ्टी और नाइन सिक्सटी वॉज आउट नाइन सिक्सटी प्रो सो या दैट वॉज वन ऑफ द फास्टेस्ट एस एस डीज दैट यू कैन गेट आई ऑलरेडी यूज दिस ईवो नाइन सेवेंटी प्लस इन द राइजन सेवन बिल्ड बट दिस इज द बिगर ब्रदर ऑफ दैट एंड गाइज माई पी सी ओनली रन ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी जी बी डब्ल्यू डी ग्रीन एस एस डी विच इज द बेयर मिनिमम एस एस डीज इफ यू वॉन्ट आई एंटर द एस एस डीज दैट इज द एस एस डी दैट यू गेट दैट आई बॉट फॉर फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज बैक इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन दैट वॉज सो एक्सपेंसिव नाउ इट ओनली हवर्स अराउंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड रुपीज I am going to upgrade my PC with this. This also has a WD green 240 GB SSD which, which I bought for 3500 Indian rupees. That time it was uh, like uh, also expensive. But finally now I am going NVMe and I I like cannot be happier than this because this is one of the dream upgrades as I told you. This was one of the dream upgrades for me. As of now I have tried out my PC. It takes 1 minute exactly 1 minute to reboot it. and uh, that ssd is like really slow i guess this will improve it somehow this ssd is so tiny yet so monstrous in performance that i cannot even give you an example of this can reach speeds up to 3500 mbps that is 3.5 gb per second i uh, if you know that i've already used this one i've also used the 850 evo in the i7 build the 8700k and i have also got a uh, evo 870 that is for uh, again the ryzen 7 and you personally know that i use this t7 ssd which is just to give you an idea how close i keep it this is always here in my laptop sleeve i keep this with me at all times because it is so so helpful at every cases that i can think of that i cannot live without this thing now when we have unboxed it so let's try to upgrade that pc so installing an nvme is as easy as just screwing in one screw with a phillips head and you also need like a tiny screw driver that's not a big deal but uh, most of the motherboards do not have the screw installed so you have to go to your motherboard box because that has a screw that is like uh, there i have already installed once or uh, twice a uh, drive here not a nvme but a sata based one so yeah, i have a screw and the like stand off as well there so it's just this one i'll just remove the screw okay okay so you also have to make sure ki aapka jo motherboard hai that supports nvme because most of the motherboards nowadays support but the older ones they do not have like all of them does not like support nvme some of them only support sata oh shoot i had to screw that oh damn it One eternity later. So yeah, all the drives are in, but there is one issue that I have to resolve. That is, अगर मैं SSD को यहाँ पर populate करता हूँ, so this socket will disable the first SATA port. So, so the 120 GB of SATA SSD it will get disabled. So I have to change this slot, and I guess एक एक slot जो है इन hard drives को भी मुझे आगे push करना पड़ेगा. But I'll do that later. I'll just plug in uh, the SSD and uh, the NVMe is already plugged in, so that I can migrate the OS from this drive to this drive. Much, much, much later. So yeah, it's been like I guess a month or so. I've been using this Samsung's SSD 980, and it's the performance has been like blazing fast. There is no like. Uh, ignoring that or something just want to like put the specs out there it can go up to 3.5 gigabytes a second that's 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 a crazy crazy number to like say the least just to give you an idea if you are coming on from the wd green or like a cheap ssd uh, like probably like a crucial bx series so agar aap us ssd se nvme pe aate hain it's it's going to be night and day because uh, these like do not have uh, dram caches so kai aspects mein these are very slow so yeah definitely that is a downfall but if you are coming from a samsung 850 860 870 qvo 
the performance difference is not that big it it will be faster in some scenarios but mostly aapko kya hai jo aapko instant performance hai that can also be provided by a like a ssd like a 870 860 or a 850 so yeah that is the case but yeah nvme if you have this is the baddest the sickest ssd as of the pci gen 3 and yeah samsung is one of the biggest players in terms of one of the like it it is the actually the biggest player in terms of the dram and the nand flashes jo 980 pro hai that is a gen 4 ssd that can go up to 7 gigabytes a second that needs serious cooling because that that like can hit 100 degrees very easily This can also get hot, but uh, only like under like heavy loads, which I am not gonna probably do with this. But yeah, Samsung has a really great reputations for SSD. But I can see I have been using this one for a, like a long, long while. The 8700K, it's 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 been running on this, and uh, this uh, Ryzen 7 5800X that has the. Uh, Evo 970 Plus. That is also an NVMe. It is very similar to this, but it uh, it is like a bit more, less on power. But this is the best best one you can get for uh, the PCI Gen 3. So as of now, if you are considering a uh, NVMe drive, definitely this is one of the biggest thing that I will recommend because its का जो पिछला generation का model है the 970 Evo Plus that uh, that is running in my Ryzen system. That is expensive than this. I guess it is selling for seven thousand five hundred rupees. So thousand rupees less के लिए आपको एक upgraded version मिलता है and also uh, the 970 Pro जितनी performance है वो 980 pack करती है. So definitely this is the one I will recommend to you. Go ahead buy this product. It is really amazing. It is blazing fast. It 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 will improve your system performance to a level like you will have never ever experienced because this is. seriously a gen leap so yeah definitely if you want the best experience on your device and it is capping out at gen 3 like most of the intel stuff so this is probably it you should buy it you should get it yeah th there is no exclusion of any sort just go ahead and buy it it is really great so guys that was it for the review of the samsung 980 ssd nvme ssd if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like this video and also consider subscribing to my channel this has been beast from geek guys I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you guys.